Hi, this is Phil from SkiTalk.com, and we're going to talk about quick wax method. I mean, there's different levels of waxing, different levels of commitment, and both in time, effort, and money. I mean, you could spend anywhere from forty dollars bringing your ski into a shop to get waxed, or easily a thousand dollars in equipment and tuning materials and everything to keep your skis good for the snow. We're going to do a compilation of a lot of things in here, but ba focusing on this quick wax method. First of all, we're going to assume that this ski is ready to get waxed, that we've deepered the edges and everything's clean that way. Because a bird edge on, um, on the edges can actually do a lot of damage to your iron, and we're going to touch base on that a little bit. Uh, now, there's a lot of things we want to do as far as prep, as far as cleaning the base out. We can do a base cleaner wax, which is a very soft wax, and that goes on there and it pulls out a lot of the gunk that's in the base. What we're going to use in this method here is a brass brush on here. So we're using a rotor brush brass. Um, now there's also a hand brass that you can get that is a little bit expensive, a little less expensive. A lot depends on how much waxing that you're going to be doing. So we're going to clean the base off here first and just get out any of the gunk and dirt that's in the base. So we're going to take that and just take a rag here to get that off there. And actually you can see some of the dirt here that we just took off the base. Now in this quick wax method, I'm, bit, I'm flying a little bit without a net here is that I do not have anything under the table. So you think, oh my God, wax drippings. My wife is going to kill me. My significant other is going to kill me. Not the case here if you do it right. So we're going to take a red wax, and of, of course, Togo has a yellow wax and also a blue wax for cold temperatures. Uh, Togo is our official sponsor of our team. So we're going to take the wax here. We're not going to be dripping it all up and down the ski because that puts a lot of wax into the ski. And quite frankly, we end up having a lot of waste in that process. Wax is expensive right now. Gas is expensive. Anything petroleum related is expensive. So we take the wax, the wax here, just touches it on the base here. And I just rub it in circular motions here on the ski. We might get one or two drips here. That's not a huge deal. But if you notice, I'm not putting a lot of wax on the base. You don't need a lot. So in this process, got this here. And then what we're going to do then is just heat this wax into it. Now I'm just going to let the iron sit on the ski and just go a little fore and aft on here. If you notice, I'm not twisting the iron. I'm not pressing down on it. You don't need to. Uh, we've got the Toco T18 iron, which is their flagship iron. It might be a little overkill for the majority of the people. They've got irons that start under $80 and go up to this iron here. The wax on the ski is getting nice and glossy, and we're just rubbing it in. It's going into the base, and we could do a couple different layers of this, depending on how much you want to do. And situation with wax, you really can't wax the ski too much. The more wax we get into the base, the better it's going to perform over the course of time. So while this now is still glossy, we're going to take our fiber lean, the towel here, and put it on the ski. And we're just going to rub this up the ski. And we're going to go slowly here. And you're going to see that the wax starts getting absorbed into the towel. What this does it allows us not to have to scrape the ski. Whoops. If we get all of this excess wax into the towel, much less work. We don't have to scrape the ski. Whoops. It just makes that process a lot quicker and easier. I just go slow here and just get all of this off. So I put the iron back in the iron rack so we don't lay it down on the on the face there. That's going to scratch it again. But we can see the wax that came out of here and the dirt that's involved. Now we're going to want to let the ski cool before we start scraping it. So we put this here out of the way. In the meantime then, 
We got a little bit of time to kill. So all that cools. I've got this key here, which I did already. So this is cooled. It's ready to get scraped. Whoops. If you notice on here, there's not a, hardly any excess wax on there. So now we go over to, I prefer a nylon brush that we're going to buff this ski. We'll put this in here. We can use a nylon brush. If you can only have a hand brush, that's fine also. We take this here. Buff this on here. Pretty much takes all the excess wax off. Wipe this down here a little bit. Have another up here. Ski is pretty much ready to go. We have to remember, a wax ski is a fast ski, and a fast ski is a fun ski because skiing is fun. And don't forget, at the end here, when you put everything together, use your ski straps. They protect all the work that you just did on those skis. We'll see you out there in the snow. If you enjoyed this informative video, hit that bell, subscribe, so that you'll stay up to date on the new videos, and check out SkiTalk.com for more ski-related content. Also, please follow SkiTalk.com on all of your social media channels. No shark attacks were encountered during the production of this video.